five o'clock, about ten after. I'm in my truck. I'm just heading over to uh, Great Basin National Park. And uh, and uh, anyway, um, just heading over to Great Basin National Park. I'm gonna try to hike uh, Wheeler Peak, the second highest peak in Nevada. And I'm gonna drive all the way over. It's a little bit of a drive, but that's okay because I'm just getting up early. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give that a drive and try to hike that. And then because they said it's so crazy busy right now with COVID and uh, every single day it's packed that uh, if I don't get there before 11 o'clock, at, at the latest 11 o'clock, all the campsites are gonna be completely full. So, uh, and they said, uh, that people are having, and they are being the rangers, uh, has said that people are camping dispersed on BLM land. So I'll actually head up north and go on BLM land camp. So that's the plan, and uh, I guess we'll uh, see how this goes. Well, I just want to put together just this little clip here. Um, I'm out here on 50 alternate east, and there's a lot of just nice looking scenery out here. Some crazy things though, like uh, there's a bicycle race or some kind of endurance race uh, out here on the uh, Alternate 50. I've seen a se several of them with uh, vehicles trailing them and flashing lights and all. And then there's uh, this tiny little town, uh, Cold Springs. And I think it's called Cold Springs. And uh, there's nothing out there. I mean, there's just like a little restaurant slash RV uh, park, slash motorhome kind of parking lot and uh, it's interesting to see that this is out there there's no gas I'm not really sure where you'd get any gasoline there's like a town called Alpine three miles out so real interesting uh, taking this route uh, over to Great Basin National Park but there's not really much out here I mean you can just see for miles and there's lots of places to pull off and uh stay for the night. I saw several campers out just pulled off on these little out poles that uh, are along the road. So yeah, it's kind of an interesting little drive uh, out here in uh, sort of, I guess, central Nevada is where I'm at, essentially. Um, no smoke, but this fog, I mean, this fog from the morning, but no smoke, no anything like that. So hopefully it'll be a uh, real nice, uh, trip out and uh, I get all the way to Ely without having to refuel and do all my stuff there so just a nice little trip that's what I was talking about with that fog blocking your, not blocking, but making it harder to see. You can't see, but a couple of yards in front of me, I'd say no more than 30. the shaking is the the mount which is great for the exterior of the vehicle and is solid doesn't really stick or suction very well to the dash here so anyway I'll turn this off try with both hands but uh, get through this fog but as I was talking about like go some open road fine and all of a sudden there's much bunch, bunch of fog so ugh. all right so this is the Ely elk viewing area. It's got some bathrooms over there, trash over there. And this is where I'm going to camp tonight, I think. Got some uh, places over there. Someone's already camping here. Places set up to view and have dinner or lunch or whatever. So yeah.
This is gonna work out great. I'm only about 60 miles or so from Great Basin. And I think there's a lot of smoke here, actually, from the fires. The smoke <laughs> actually drove into it. So yeah, I'm gonna set up camp somewhere, probably over there, I don't know. If I have to, I'll go in the truck, sleep in the truck. But yeah, this is where, hopefully, we camp tonight. This is the trailhead I wanted to park at. This is unbelievable. That is a tremendous. Turn left. Then your destination will be on the right. Yeah. It is full. Oh, wow. So I have to find a place to park on the road somewhere. Unless I get super lucky. Which I don't think is going to happen. Your destination is on the right. Yeah, thank you. All right, so I have to park at a road up there. All right, wow. They weren't kidding, they said this is busy. It's busy. All right, so I have to park and come down. All right, everybody, so it's uh, about 11.26, not quite 11.30, I made it early, hoping to have that. So it's completely packed at the trailhead that I wanted, so I'm gonna go down there. This is where I'm parked and try to get this done. Try to hike the second tallest uh, peak in Nevada, Wheeler Peak. So, uh, uh, it's already a little bit nippy. So I'm glad I brought my puffy and my hoodie with the hood and everything. So uh, I'll go ahead and uh, try to get to the trailhead. Sorry to have another uh, video here, but I had to park quite a ways away. You can see back there. Over there is a little parking lot. And the Wheeler Peak campground is closed. So you cannot go camp here because they're doing major reconstruction until the spring of 2021. So <clears throat> anyway, it's beautiful though. We live in overcast days. It's going to be chilly. Glad I got my beanie and my gloves and and my hoodie and everything. So, so I grew a little closer. But uh, trailhead's over there. Head up over there. And uh, hopefully this doesn't take too long for us to uh, hike up and do my Wim Hof breathing. And hopefully, hopefully... This doesn't take long and I can get back to where I want to camp. I saw some other campsites on the way up here that look pretty nice, so we'll see. So they've got me going on the <clears throat> Alpine Lakes Loop to connect to the Summit Trail. And I took it because <clears throat> that'd be a little bit shorter, although it's nothing but climb. And so far, it's really pretty. It's uh, actually quite gorgeous. You can see here the, the streams and there isn't any snow <clears throat> even here at 10,000 so there's some people so I can get hiking. So I just passed a hiker, sorry for the wind, just passed a hiker here. He said, he's at the top, he said it's crowded <laughs> and I asked him how it was and he said it's icy wind. So that uh cold exposure training that I haven't been doing would probably pay off. This is all I've got. This is all I've got. Except for that puffy. Which, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. So, less than three miles to go. Whew. Feeling that elevation. But, uh, as you can see, she's pretty. She's pretty. So, all right, so a couple of coins, so let's get up there. Okay, so I ran into several hikers, hikers and they said there's about 50, 50 people from the saddle there to the, to, to the crest of the mountain. So that's it right there. Not there, but there. That's the Wheeler Peak. So you can see this is the trail. And it's mostly like this, mostly. Uh, a couple places, it's much better. The uh, Alpine Lakes Loop over there is really established, but up here it's pretty much like this. So 
any event, uh, really nice for pictures and really nice uh, for a regular hike. So far, hasn't been so terribly bad. Although, I know you can't see the GoPro on the crest there, but I'm sorry, on the saddle, <laughs> you can see like 50 people. So, it'll be a crowded one up there, but you can spread out. So, anyways, okay, I'm gonna shut up and get up there. Okay. Okay, y'all, so I'm making it up here. I got two people, two neighbors. With a peak. Summiting now. Hi. Hey. Yeah. You too. You too. Last pitch. Yeah. I say thirteen thousand feet, right? Just a little bit over. Yeah. <sighs> 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 we're probably the last ones up here for the day, too. Yeah. We're probably, we're probably the last ones up. Started late. No, we, yeah, I think it's too late. We've got to go back. Oh, it's too late. So, just so you know, this is what most of the trail looks like. Going down, but this is what it looks like. Not pretty. That's the entire way, like the last two miles. So it makes you work for it. Okay, so I ran across some deer here, right here on the trail, and a little fawn. Oh, that's cool. And my camera, the DSLR is in my bag. That's some wild turkeys. Pretty cool. Obviously, I uh, am not camping. I'm in my home, and I just want to give a quick update on everything that uh, occurred. So I uh, saw the wild turkeys and some deer, and I finished the trail. And uh, in any event, uh, I felt really strong. I felt really good, so I decided to just go ahead and drive home because I didn't want to deal with all of that fog and everything in the morning. So. Just decided to come home. Um, I got home at 10 till midnight. So it was a 3 a.m. to almost midnight day, but wasn't too bad. Um, driving home wasn't too bad at all. I know they call it the loneliest highway in America, but it wasn't that lonely. I saw quite a few cars and vehicles. Um, but yeah, all in all, it was a very brutal, very difficult hike, but also really rewarding. You can see the curvature of the earth up at the uh, top of Wheeler Peak. So um, anyways, um, and it took me, oh, by the way, to go 3.1 miles, it took me two hours and 37 minutes. So it was pretty slow. Um, and going down the hill wasn't really that much easier for a while than getting up the hill because there was a lot of scrambling to do. So anyways, um, that was my adventure to Great Basin National Park. That was me summiting Wheeler Peak, second highest there in Nevada, here in Nevada. And so, uh, anyways, hope you enjoyed it. If you do decide to go, just know that it's going to be busy and it's going to be difficult. So definitely take your time and do like I did. Take as many breaks as you need. I took about 9,000. 
and that's fine. So anyways, hope you enjoyed it, and I'm um, hoping to log a few more national parks here in 2020. So anyways, thanks everyone, and see you later.